Hello and good afternoon. My name is Tristan Brown. I'm the Illinois Operations Manager for Justine Peterson and I'm here with one of our um, recent clients, Brisha Campbell, and she's going to be telling us a little bit about her journey and ab about how she got to Justine Peterson. So feel free um, to tell us about your journey up to this point and how did you hear about us? Hello, thank you for allowing me to be here. I've heard about you guys through the SDDC. Um, I was working with Madeline Walski and she was helping me start my business and she told me about how you guys could help fund me to get me started. Tell us a little bit about your journey before that. What made you want to do this? And um, tell us a little bit about your business, what you got going on, and um, any new things in the future coming up. Um, so what interests me, well, taking it back, um, I started my own business some in 2019. I started selling waist trainers and other work, working out and fitness gear and uh, accessories. And I really loved being the boss. I loved interacting with customers. I loved helping the customers and I loved being a part of their journey. So I, I really enjoyed it. Um, but with COVID and everything, it was just so hard for me to kind of keep up and like understand what I needed for my business. And it was my first time even running a business. So that was like really overwhelming. So I took a break and I just started doing research about how to be a better business owner. And then I found the program and then I got in touch with Madeline and she just was really helpful. And, and it just made me feel comfortable that there is help like being an entrepreneur. Like, so yeah. So you would say one of your biggest challenges would be finding resources in the area. For sure, yeah. Absolutely. So we are going to go to any future goals you have. What does the future hold for your business and um, where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? So my future goals, I am in school to become a nurse. I'm getting my bachelor's degree and this new business that I'm working on is called On Point Phlebotomy. And what I'm planning on doing now with that is just being able to offer patients services at their home so they don't have to get out just to get a blood drawn and just make their process and their health issues easier. Um, I really love the medical field. I enjoy it. I've been in the medical field for about 10 years and I just want to just add more to it and build on to that. So in five years, I just hope to have a steady business. I hope to actually have a building where I can train CNAs, phlebotomists, medical assistants, and stuff like that just to help people live better lives. Absolutely, sounds great. All right, so um, give us the name of your business real quick just because I think I missed that. It is On Point Phlebotomy. Perfect, and then what advice, this is going to be the last question here, what advice would you give to someone just starting out their business? I would say look for help, ask for help, look at all your resources even if you feel like they don't understand what your business is because I felt like that was a big problem with me like no one knows what phlebotomy is but if you say drawn blood like they get it so just don't feel discouraged just know that people want to help you and just ask for it you are perfect thank you so much for joining us today and this is the first video of microloan microphone thank you